Welcome to our presentation on FlexNav, which stands for Flexible Navigation and Exploration Through Connected Runnable Zones. My name is Jutta, and I will give this presentation together with my co-authors, Shripriya, Christoph, and Danilo. The problem we are targeting is to enable runners to practice their activity and explore unknown environments without the fear of getting lost. Indeed, runners want to practice their activity anytime and anywhere, exploring and discovering new paths. However, they often refrain from doing so because they fear getting lost. When studying prior art and existing systems that support running in unknown environments, we identified two opposite types of approaches. The first, proposing fully pre-planned tours with turn-by-turn -turn navigation support to follow them. The second, not pre-planning any tour, but providing the user with dynamic decision support to choose the path during the run. The first has the inconvenience of not giving any freedom to the runner, who has to strictly follow a path from start to end. However, it has the advantage that through the full turn-by-turn -turn guidance, it avoids that the runner gets lost in an unknown environment. The second type of approaches does not pre-compute any tour, but lets the runner decide during the run on the path to take by providing dynamic decision support. This support may consist, for instance, of a color-coded visualization of the actual environment, indicating its respective quality for running. The advantage of this approach is that the runner has complete freedom on which path to explore. The inconvenience is that the runner has the cognitive burden to decide where to go, and this burden may be more or less important depending on the environment and the number and variability of paths available. Our objective with this work is to propose a new approach to exploratory running in unknown environments, an approach that integrates the advantages of both types of approaches discussed before, namely providing freedom to explore, but with sufficient guidance to avoid getting lost. Therefore, we propose partially specified tools providing runners with access to the best runnable zones in the neighborhood linked together through specific, specified connecting paths. We prepared an online survey with a dozen questions to better understand what are the runners' exploratory habits and desires in unknown areas. We collected responses from 139 participants. The survey results confirmed both the appetite of runners for exploration and their instinctive practice of exploring runnable zones. Most runners also shared a lack of such tools supporting the exploration of unknown places and their interest in such support. Aligned with the survey findings, we designed our FlexNav concept. FlexNav proposes running tools linking, linking together the best runnable zones in a neighborhood as analyzed from map features such as greenery, low level traffic, type of road, etc. It provides adaptive guidance, enabling the runner to follow these tools both precisely in the connecting path with turn-by-turn -turn navigation and more freely within the runnable zones. In these areas, FlexNav will only help runners to stay in and explore the zone and then to reach the planned zone exit uh, when they wish to. We have implemented a prototype of FlexNav on a Sunto 7 Sport smartwatch a good compromise between a lightweight commonly used wearable and convenient specifications to develop and test several UI modalities. The runner would get most navigation instructions via headphones and could also consult the watch screen and receive haptic notifications through vibrations. The screen can either display a map with the current position and navigation instructions, if any, or a progress bar that also indicates the next milestone of the tool. We designed our experiment to investigate how to satisfy runners' needs and preferences for running in unknown places. More specifically, we asked, do runnable zones linked by connecting paths with adaptive navigation support satisfy runners' needs better than fully specified tours with strict turn-by-turn -turn guidance? What are uh, runners' preferences regarding having one or several runnable zones with the same or different characteristics in a single tour? What level of guidance provides better support for exploration and spatial learning? We had initially planned a second test tour with strict turn-by-turn -turn guidance as a baseline. However, we had to limit the participants' effort and duration of the experiment. They also had to run a tour with more than one zone to answer our research questions. Hence, as seen in the figure, we crafted one test tour to obtain a total distance of roughly five kilometers, including two runnable zones with the suggested exploration distance of 1.5 kilometers in different neighborhoods connected by fixed paths. 
Both zones were a mix of green and low traffic areas and contained a significant set of alternative paths to enable meaningful exploration. Our tour included three connecting paths covering almost two kilometers where our participants experienced turn-by-turn -turn guidance, which we used as a baseline. For the experiment, we recruited 26 participants who were unfamiliar with the test location. Please refer to our paper for more details. To answer our first and second research questions, we collected responses to Likert scale questions on the appreciation of our FlexNav concept and a subjective comparison questionnaire comparing our FlexNav tour with a fully turn-by-turn -turn based system. Additionally, participants provided verbal explanations for their given rating. To answer our third research question about spatial learning of the environment, we asked participants to place 12 intersections on a printed map. These intersections were shown as a 360-degree Google Street View on a laptop and selected based on the participants' running trace that we got from our monitoring interface, as seen in the picture. Looking at the quantitative results from the questionnaires, we can see that most people like and prefer FlexNav over turn-by-turn -turn navigation support. While FlexNav is a new system and might be initially more challenging to understand, it was deemed as more enjoyable to use and better for exploring compared to turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Participants also appreciated having several runnable zones with different characteristics and considered that FlexNav facilitated exploration and learning about the environment. When analyzing the qualitative findings, we see that participants felt that FlexNav enabled them to go out of their comfort zones to explore new paths in unknown locations with less disruptions and directions, which gave them a sense of freedom. Having several zones with different characteristics constituted for many participants an additional motivation as they were interested in what they might find in the following zones. They also appreciated the adaptive navigation support, but still considered that there were many alerts on the zone borders. We can see this reflected in how they explored the zones, mostly focusing on the internal paths and avoiding the wrong exits. Some interesting questions arise from our findings. We understood that it's important to find the right balance between freedom and responsibility. Indeed, flexibility comes at a cost, which is the cognitive burden necessary to take direct decisions. And some would have liked more, less, or even different guidance within the zones. These differences and personal preferences could be addressed by letting users define, adapt, or select the zones, as well as the modalities and amount of navigation support. Leveraging personalization is then an interesting aspect to be explored for our system in the future.